Oh my god, dead dog again? I hate this game. Please, I hate this map so much. I feel like I just turn into a bot whenever I get it. Thank you. Appreciate it, bud. That was really sweet. Remember, kids? Don't don't take the crows off. They're a gift. The crows are a gift. Ooh, somebody is object or something. Sprinters. Well, especially if you're not going to repel. Oh. Carney's a Pokemon trainer where she catches them all. I do. I do, in fact, catch them all. I don't know why I could see her aura. One thing I do like is whenever I get them to like just take a really wide berth because of the crows. Good <laughs> dead hard. Oh my god, it's like they hug me. How did you miss that? You see where she was? No, um, I was trying to go for a staggered hit. Oh, I can't go for that one, sorry. There's a hook right here anyway. I saw your cute little stare. A good balance. That shouldn't have hit. I felt way too delayed, don't you agree, Leon? I know, I know, that was a mean spot to put you in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you want to know another thing that I kind of uh, noticed with the new Mori changes? It really just doesn't encourage hooking other people, if that makes sense. If the game automatically ends by the time that you down another survivor, why don't you just, like, only hook three people? Sometimes it hits them, sometimes it doesn't, so I always like to see if it's going to hit them or not. Because, like, again, it doesn't really encourage, like, doing literally anything else. Ooh. Oh. I don't know what the Mori changes. So the Mori changes make it so... If you down the last survivor, regardless of like their hook state or their health state, they just get worried automatically. Is uh, lethal meta or not? I don't consider it to be meta. Meta? Okay, that's fine. I figured it was the Rebecca that had the Sabo build. I'm just boring. No, I didn't call it a day. Yeah, like sometimes it hits them, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what like what changes. There we go. Leon has a lead the pursuer. Not lead the pursuer, bounce any. I have lead the pursuer. I think he's dead, right? Good 
Jen. Did I see someone get in this locker? No, but I did see them on the other side. Have I already hooked this thing? She's dead, right? Is this one dead? Yes? seen you all game. Holy shit, the fang is dead. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Do the new Mori rules mean that you can't be nice and get attached? Yeah, if you down the other survivor, it like you they just uh they just get morried automatically. It sets sends them to a preset point in game. Uh, uh. Trapper, no add-ons, no perks. Okay. Just raw trap daddy vibes, but lethal is strong perk and can be help with get things rolling. I definitely I agree with it being meta. I don't think that it's meta though. I feel like it's a nice perk to have, but I don't think that it's like full meta. I feel like meta is in regards to like exposure and regression. Despite arguably a dog shit perk, self care is meta. You think that self care is meta? I see you. Oh, you have a Buna? Since when? Okay, I know that I just saw her. I just feel like this map makes it so easy to hide. common perks and build something that's incredibly weak is still meta if it's used a lot. I feel like lethal pursuer is uncommonly used though. I feel like I very rarely get people besides like billies that use a uh, lethal pursuer. Just like that said in the same post, it doesn't reflect self-care's power levels, just use as a meme or by noobs. So you would consider it to be meta? I think boons are more meta than self-care, wouldn't you think? I would think that boons are meta. GG. It was their, uh, she had, didn't really have a Sabo build. She just had a Sabo toolbox. Oh, she had reassurance, it's interesting. 